I have a piece of 8mm film and it's broken. I need to repair it. So let's take the 16mm splicing block, which I have for working on 16mm film. I could use an 8mm splicer, but it's just as easy to use the 16mm block. I lay the 8mm film down on the block and butt the two ends together. No need to trim them. They fit very well. These little pieces of red tape will hold the film in place. For once, a good use of 8mm tape. Kodak press tape splices come in little packages like this. There are two of them inside. Shiny side up with the tabs free floating. Push down on the film. Pull one tab off. Pull the other tab off slide it over the pins. Now we can turn the film over and put one on the other side. We must put one on each side. Turn the block around, turn the film upside down, noting where the break is. Put the tape back on the film to hold it in place. and apply the press tape on top of the brake. It may not be possible to push it down over the pins right away, so lift it off the pin and press it down. Remove the tape from the splicing block and press down the splice. You can do this with your fingers on 8mm film, but it's better to use a roller or some kind of a tool like this pen or the end of a blunt instrument that's very smooth and won't damage the film. A screwdriver. That's it. Now you noticed I had difficulty uh, holding the film on the 16 millimeter splicing block. So if you can find an 8 millimeter tape splicer, <clears throat> uh, you might be happier because the film, if it is not shrunken, will sit on the pins and then you can work right on top of it. And uh, you can also cut a clean edge more or less on the frame line. I say more or less because amateur film equipment did not always put the same put the frame line in the same place from camera to camera.